kids rick here and we're going to go over the wad manager today wad manager version 1.7 we're going to go ahead and load we have a disclaimer no warranty we're going to hit a to continue we're going to select version ios 249 we are going to disable the nand and we're going to pull from the usb mass storage device we're going to go down to the wads folder no the wads folder and we're going to select Star Fox 64 and we're going to go ahead and start the setup. Now one of the reasons I like to use WAD Manager version 1.7 in conjunction with Multimod Manager is WAD Manager 1.7 will let you install a WAD from the USB whereas Multimod Manager won't. The downside to WAD Manager 1.7 is that it will not play nice if you have an emulated NAND. Usually if you select NAND emulation and you're using say WeFlow as your NAND emulator it's going to cause a problem it's going to lock up and wig out and so forth and so on now that we've installed we're going to back all the way out it says it's restarting the Wii we'll pull out of the homebrew channel there's Star Fox 64 we're going to go ahead and start We'd like to thank you for enjoying this journey with us at Rick and Shorty. The exit is towards the end of the video. Please wait until the spinning logo stops before departing. And don't forget to subscribe or like on your way out. Thank you very much for viewing Rick and Shorty. Have yourself a pleasant time at your destination. Goodbye.